Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a spooky Halloween video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. With Halloween coming up, I thought it would be fun to create a spooky little story for the occasion. Now, I have a script that I've already created and a few ideas that I've put together. I want a haunted house picture and the inside of the haunted house picture and I want a cute little ghost, okay? Now, these images I needed to find elsewhere. So in this example, I'm using royalty-free images from freepick.com. Now, I've already laid down the voiceover, so it's a little over a minute long of me narrating the story. I also want to add some horror sounds to it. So I have this droning, horror droning sound effect that I am going to use. In this one, I believe I got from Audio Hero, which I have an account to. Got this a couple years ago. So my first scene is going to be this haunted house. And I'm going to go to props and import my haunted house. add a title. If I have any spooky graphics in here, it'd be fun if we did. I can't see anything spooky. So we're gonna go to Google Fonts. So I'm here in Google Font. This one looks spooky enough. So what I'm gonna do is select the style and download it. Go back to Doodly, click the blue plus sign, browse for my downloads, and this is my font file. So now I have a spooky font to use. I think that will be fine for my purposes. So let's time out my first scene. I want my title first. And I want this erase setting turned off. So I'm going to settings and I'm going to turn that off. And I don't think I need such a long drawing time on either of these. What I really want to do is have this be my title and then I want to jump into my interior of my house. Now, I don't want the scribble effect, so I'm going to click this pencil icon. I'm going to go to fade. I'm going to do the same for my ghost. Let's just add just a little touch of time here. And we're now ready for our second scene. And this is our interior scene. Now this image is not really the right aspect ratio for my um, scene, but that's okay because we're gonna zoom in quite a bit on it. We're really gonna focus on the window. And remember, I want a crack to appear. So I'm going to create one myself. First I'm going to create a screenshot and then I'm going to put my screenshot into Pixelmator Pro. Now you can use whatever graphics editing program that you like. I'm just going to use Pixelmator Pro because that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm going to use the paintbrush tool and I don't want a green color, I want a black color. And I'm going to add a layer on top of this, so empty layer. So I'm only using this doodly screenshot as a guideline so that I know where to make this crack appear and what size it should be. And I think that looks just fine for our purposes. So you'll notice if I turn off the background layer, I have a crack. Of course, this is way too large for what I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crop it down. This is a transparent background that it's on. So that's perfect. And then I'm going to export it. Might, I wanna make sure it's a PNG file. 
or it could be an SVG file, either is fine. I'll do SVG. The plus sign, browse for files. I'm going to rename it to crack. And now I just need to resize it to match. Okay, that's good. Now I need to click the pencil icon and I need to draw this crack on, right? So I have to go over here and create my drawing dots. So now let's take a preview of this. It's just too bad that this ghost couldn't make it out of the house he had been trapped in for so long. Okay, so obviously we'll fiddle with the timing, but that's gonna look nice. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to zoom out a bit so we can get to our controls here. Pencil icon, draw, fade mode, save and return. I need my ghost. Okay, and we're going to add a few seconds to the end of this scene and we'll move on to our next one. my trick-or-treating ghost and I'm gonna want some other trick-or-treaters. So if you type in Halloween should be able to find some good ones. If we want a neighborhood in the background, click the gear icon we could turn its opacity down a little bit so it's kind of faded. And that will look cute. We certainly don't need three seconds to draw the neighborhood. I want the kids to come up really soon. And then we want him to fade in because he's just our little ghost here, so. Fade. So let's import our sad ghost. And what we want to do is have him appear here, but not yet. Let's duplicate this scene, select all, go to the gear, on draw, turn it to none. As you'll see, they all have durations of zero, so they're not going to be hand drawn on. Now let's go back to our original scene, go to scene settings, and turn off exit animation. So now it's just going to transition from this to this instantly. Now we don't want this to be a 10 second scene. We want it as short as possible. So let's go back to our default timing. So now it's super short. Now we want the ghost to be erased. So I'm going to go here to the gear, exit animation, erase. Make it a two second erase. Now we're going to duplicate this scene one more time. Again, let's make sure that this has, an, has no exit animation. And now we can get rid of this guy. Bear with me, because remember he was erased in that previous scene. And now we want our sad ghost to appear in his place. And I want this to fade in. I like to use this preview when I'm working on timing. Something still wasn't right. He okay, so something still wasn't right. Right in here is when we want this scene to end. So we've got one, two, three, about four and a half seconds too long. So let's select that scene, go to scene settings, and change that to 5.4, 5.6. Let's try. And that should be pretty close. Trapped inside a house for decades. He was loving his new life with the kids, but something still wasn't right. He knew he needed to find a way back into that house. And that's fine. I think I would like my 
erasing to go a little bit faster. So I'm going to select the scene, select my item, click the gear icon, and change the erase to one second. Let's select this scene and make sure it's got no exit animation. Right click and duplicate. Now we want to make sure that this one doesn't draw back on again, so we're turning that to zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate the ghost flying away from his friends. So this is our second instance of him. So he's going to go over here and we're going to make him a little larger. And we're going to duplicate it one more time. We're going to bring him over again, a little bit larger, maybe a little further away. Duplicate. And we're just going to repeat this process until he is blown away. Duplicate. Duplicate. One more time. So let's take a look at this little sequence. So he left the group of kids and he flew back to the window. And that's fine. So let's go back to the window. So let's go ahead and find our haunted house. And let's have him fly in, like so. I'm going back to this preceding scene, and I'm just going to make a swipe. Let's make it swipe up. And this is going to come along, and he's going to just appear here. So this setting needs to have no exit animation, like so. Now we're going to duplicate. We're going to just do the same thing we just did with our ghost. This time he's going to shrink a little because he's further. I'm going to do one more where he is disappeared. And then we will swipe over to our interior. our crack. Well, it would have been faster to just copy and paste from the original scene. But it doesn't take that long to do this. So let's find our ghost. And it doesn't need that long of a drawing. And we'll have them fade in. So I'm going to add just a little time there so that we can absorb him being happy. So now we need a cemetery scene. And now let's just add our ghost. And let me add one more. Okay, now we're just going to set our nice fades for each of these. And let's add a delay at the end. And then finally, let's reduce our droning here. And just fade it out. Right click, and just fade it out. And we should be done. Let's take a look. It was Halloween night, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, except for one little ghost. It's just too bad that this ghost couldn't make it out of the house he had been trapped in for so long. He noticed the window had cracked ever so slightly, and that meant he could get out of the house. Like any other ghost, he flew straight out the window. He joined a group of kids, blending in perfectly. No one knew he was a real ghost who had been trapped inside a house for decades. He was loving his new life with the kids, but something still wasn't right. He knew he needed to find a way back into that house. It was his home, and he missed it. So he left the group of kids and he flew back to the window. He slipped through the crack, realizing that this was his portal to freedom. The next night, he left the house again and he joined up with all of his ghost friends at the cemetery. It was truly an epic night for this little ghost who finally got to go out on adventures like other ghosts do. And there you have it, a spooky Halloween story using Doodly. Thanks for watching.